when you think of painting a car you usually think of um, things like you know, body paint and so on but there are particularly on older cars there are a lot of other bits and pieces that need to be uh, painted these are the insides of the doors uh, the plates that actually hold all the the winder mechanism and so on um, they've all got to be painted uh, you can paint them in the uh, in the final colour they're using for the car but what I choose to do with bits like this is to use enamel and um, either paint them black or these ones I've just painted silver because the doors will be predominantly white so there are a lot of bits and pieces you end up painting uh, that just aren't related to the body These are some of the pieces I've enamelled so far and as I said there are a lot of these bits and pieces when you pull a car apart and they don't end up in final um, paint in terms of the external colour of the car although you have to make them uh, match in some places and as um, the car when I finally get around to painting it will be I'm thinking of being a, a two-tone vehicle um, black over old English white so some of the bits uh, will be alongside the black uh, Juco will be black uh, other bits can't be seen uh, and some of the engine um, bay I'll actually use silver paint um, I've still got a lot more that's a box full of bits I've got to do with uh, black enamel um, when the weather improves today it's raining and um, enamel's not very good to spray in humid weather so Hopefully uh, later this week I'll be able to spray those. What I'm doing here, uh, once you spray these bits, you end up with bits and pieces all over the garage. So what I'm doing with these is uh, I've got some, uh, some good paper here which I will uh, wrap uh, the pieces up individually, label them and then store them in boxes which are also labelled so I know where the parts are. Um, very important when it comes to final assembly that you actually can find the bits and pieces um, so it's one thing to pull things apart but if you don't label things um, particularly um, a car the size of the consort there are lots of pieces uh, it's like a big Meccano set without the instructions uh, and at the moment that's what it is it's a big Meccano set without the instructions because it is pulled apart without the instructions but um, as I'm uh, repairing and doing things I label, um, I sort, I store so I make sure that when the assembly is done it's um, a reasonably straightforward process